Hi everybody. Um, as promised, I'm here today to talk to you about chakras. Um, but I'm not going to talk about them all today because that will take a very long time. So we're going to do one at a time for the next seven days. Um, so for those of you that don't know, um, our chakras are thought to be the center of um, our spiritual power in the human body um, and there are seven major chakras there's actually more than seven chakras but there's seven major ones that run um, through our body so um, I'm going to start with number one normally I would start with the crown chakra because it's my favorite but um, so as not to confuse everybody I'm gonna start with the first one which is the root chakra um, which is the link between our energetic system and our physical world um, this is considered the um, basically the first chakra that develops um, and it is um, at the base of our spine and its color is red. So um, essentially this chakra controls our basic instincts. Um, anything that is a natural instinct to you, the root chakra is in charge of it. Um, it is also in control of things like stability, um, so basically, if you have an unbalanced or unaligned um, root chakra, you might experience things like trouble with money. Um, potentially, you will feel um, anxious, not super grounded. Um, yeah, things like that, like panic, anger, anything that is leaving you kind of feeling not completely um, in control of yourself, your emotions, um, your the way that you are communicating within the world. Um, that's all root chakra stuff. So it's very important to have a good, strong, balanced, unblocked root chakra. It's also very easy to have a blocked root chakra. Um, so um, like things from your childhood can impact how your root chakra is in your adulthood. So if, if this is something that you think you might need to work on, you have to like kind of go all the way back and start from scratch and build these things up. Um, and I, for myself, find this one to be the most difficult because I'm not generally a very grounded person. So um, it's important to make sure that you focus on, especially the, the chakras that um, that maybe you will have trouble with. You wanna focus on them and developing them and making sure that you're all in good alignment. Um, so yeah, the root chakra is um, important for um, your grounding, um, which is why I struggle with it. But um, there's ways if you are not um, if it's blocked or you're having trouble with it or you want to work on um, aligning yourself correctly that you can um, develop your root chakra and uh, one of the major ones would be meditation and I know meditation isn't for everybody a lot of people tell me that they cannot sit still for long enough to meditate they can only do it for a couple of minutes um, which is totally fine, by the way. Um, there's many different forms of meditation. There's walking meditation. You can meditate for like four minutes right before you go to sleep at night. I do a visual meditation right before I go to bed at night um, where I like run through all my chakras and close them. Um, so, and it, it literally takes like three minutes and then I go to sleep and then I'm grounded and I feel better. And uh, so meditation isn't like sitting with your eyes closed in a blank mind for an hour. You can do it quickly um, when you have a minute or if you go for a walk or a bike ride, if you're painting, if you're like drawing, if you have something that helps you like escape from the moment and lets you be like kind of one with yourself, that's a form of meditation. So everybody can do it if you really want to. Um, some other things that you can do would be to ground yourself. So I'm like this really big on visualization exercises. So when I ground myself, I like to visualize um, roots coming out of my feet, um, like through the floor, through the earth, into the ground, and then like rooting themselves in there, and then I'm grounded. 
but um, you can also walk barefoot outside in the grass, in the dirt. Um, there's lots of different ways. There's different stones that you can use for grounding. So um, there, and there's also many different exercises that you can find online on like psychology websites because grounding is important. Um, mindfulness is also a good way to work on your root chakra. So this is like bringing yourself into the moment right now, which is heavily connected to grounding. So, um, and I'm really big about that. I think everybody should be grounding themselves daily. So do it. <laughs> um, exercise is also a good one. And I know that's kind of hard for people sometimes too, because we're all very busy, but if you make a bit of time to, to exercise and you can do your meditation while you're exercising so that it, you can like connect it all together and then you're like just getting all the things. Um, and also a really big one um, for the root chakra is working on self-reliance. So a lot of times when our root chakra is unaligned, we're like relying too much on other people to help us to do things. If you work on yourself, work on being able to take care of yourself and work on your like personal issues that are causing problems for your root chakra, then you will find that you'll just kind of naturally become more aligned there. So that's important. Um, there are also some scents that are like connected to the root chakra and can help. And two of them are rosemary and sandalwood. So if you're big into essential oils um, or candles, things like that, you might want to um, find those particular scents for if you're meditating or just having around if you're working on your root chakra. And of course, there's crystals associated with uh, the root chakra, and there are lots, but I'm gonna just list a couple. Um, so hematite would be one, um, smoky quartz, um, red carnelian, black obsidian, and black tourmaline um, is another good one. And I love black tourmaline, so I think everybody should have it and carry it in their pockets. Um, so yeah, those are some good crystals for chakras and that's like a very, very brief um, description, I guess, of the root chakra and what it does. So um, it's important to be grounded. So start there, ground yourself, do some meditation, go for a walk, um, get yourself some black tourmaline and work on your root chakra. And then tomorrow um, I'll tell you about another chakra. That's a cool one too. So, and that is it. Let me know if you have any questions um, or any information that you know about root chakras that maybe I missed or didn't cover. Um, and yeah, otherwise I'll see you tomorrow with more information about another chakra, okay? Thanks guys, bye.